guys so my shoes just finished i need to keep embroidering i have like five more outfits that i have to make but i run um i need an 18 month shirt short sleeve and i don't have it so i had this one in long sleeve so i'm gonna make it into short sleeve i already have a video on that if you want to know how i do that i'll try to link it or find it um but yeah i have tool and i have to make the tutu so watch me work so for the shirt that I'm gonna transform into short sleeve, you want to, I stretch this out. So that the sleeve gets really big, both of them. And that is because it's gonna go gathered with the elastic. So you want this to ruffle up when you shrink it back up so then you want to fold it in and then stitch that around and then once that is stitched you add elastic you stitch elastic on it and it shrinks it and it makes it like a little ruffle ruffle sleeve so I'm gonna do that And then it's like that. Obviously it looks weird. It doesn't look like a finished sleeve and that's because it's not. So we're gonna add, so then I'm gonna add elastic to the sleeve and I'm gonna stitch that around and it'll give it a ruffle. And then here it is. So these are the AJ Blanks shirts. Uh, she's back in stock. She was out of stock for a while. So run, go get some before she runs out again. And these are the shirts. The onesies already come with the sleeves like this. So yeah, just letting you guys know. And that's it. I'm gonna start working on the other two too. elastic which I have it down there and I'm about to put that in um, 
but this is so far what it's looking like i was skeptical about doing the uh vinyl the what do you call it the heat transfer vinyl because it's this what do you call this what do you call this fabric suede no i don't know anyway um so this is heat transfer to heat transfer transfer the yellow and the blue and then this one is embroidery vinyl which i think looks better but um yep and then you have to put the water soluble stabilizer on top before you embroider otherwise the stitches will sink in like this one it didn't really get it see how it's like really sunken in so let me finish that pretty in the video this looks like a mauve color it's literally light pink but i don't know why in the video the lighting the i don't know and this i'm gonna have such a hard time but uh taking pictures of this because of the reflectiveness of it but it's pink it's pink and it's so pretty you can't really tell the color yeah no i don't know I wish you guys could see it in person. But so cute. I'm going to have such a hard time taking pictures of this to try and get the true color. But um, <sighs> we'll see. This, I am sending it to one of my customers. It's a repeat customer. And they ordered a first birthday tutu for their new baby. And I don't know, I want to thank her for, she keeps coming with all her daughter's <laughs> birthdays. So I'm going to send this to her uh, baby girl. Hopefully she loves it. It goes with the theme that she uh, ordered for me. So it's a little surprise for her. But I need to stop and, well, I finished with this. But I need to do a, this is another project that I'm doing for my niece. I need to do a all black tutu with lace, which I found some black lace at a local store here in Houston. It's not close to my house, but anyways, I found some lace. I'm going to use it. I have a, a custom tutu request from this customer, so... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make that and record it and let's see how it comes out because this lace is not gathered and I'm worried because usually the lace that I buy is gathered and this is not, so we'll see. I think the courses are on my schedule. Take tests when I'm ready. Do schoolwork while I'm at home, on the go, or even on my lunch break. Thank you. 
think what do you think this is so cute oh my god oh my god look at this i thought it wasn't gonna be as fluffy because usually the lace is um gathered but it looks so good it looks like a um like a crow <laughs> i don't know like i don't know it's so freaking cute Let's zoom out I love it.